Artist who is best known for his work painting inside the New York City's Ground Zero, the resting spot of the World Trade Center, was working on the streets of South Mississippi this week. Noah Noble caught up with him to bring us this report. I'm a New York City street painter. Uh -huh. As a matter of fact, I'm sort of known as the Ground Zero painter. I was the painter who got into Ground Zero and did a series of 17 canvases of the tragedy there. 50 years of painting has brought Steve Stoller to the streets of Pascagoula. Standing on Del Mass Avenue, Stoller is now showcasing his latest work of art depicting the old fire station that is now the home to the restaurant Scranton's. Like most of his work, it was brought to life on the street. What is it that draws you to not have a studio and to do these paintings out in the open? Well, I'm a Brooklyn boy, first of all. Born and raised pretty much in Brooklyn, New York. The street is in my blood. You'll find a lot of painters resort back to their roots to, to uh, inspire them uh, through their, their career uh, as a painter. And for me, to be on the city streets in the urban setting, even if it's a small uh, Mississippi town. Stoller has created his works of art on streets all across the world. For the last two weeks, he's been dipping his brush in paint on the Gulf Coast. On New Year's Day, I painted in Mobile. I did a New, Year, a New Year's Day painting. Mm -hmm. And I did Biloxi. I did a really nice painting in a small area of Biloxi. And uh, Pascagoula was next on my uh, chart. So here we are in Pas Pascagoula. I did well, a lot of- What is it about the South that you like? Basically, though it's hard to, de to decipher, I think it's light. Like, it's the sky and the space, the charm. There's a light in, in the air that uh, reminds me like the south of France. I'm looking for the light, I'm looking for the charm and uh, a quality that I find in the south that I really don't find anywhere else. A certain je ne sais quoi to bring in your southern France. Uh... Yes, absolutely. In Pascagoula, Noah Noble, WLOX News Now.